guys and welcome to a brand new video. Today we are trying something completely different and new as you can probably tell we are in VR. So as I spoke about in my previous videos I have now completed my new computer build which I have footage of and I'll show you guys later on or maybe in another video go through the details of that but the highlights I have a 3070 founders edition with a Ryzen 5 560x CPU. So a pretty awesome new PC, which means I can now do VR. So in today's video, we're diving in, we're taking a look. This is Assetto Corsa with the BTCC mod, which I did say I was gonna show you guys. We are at Alton Park. We are in the Audi RS3. As you can see around me here, we're starting in last place. We've got it on 100% aggression. Um, we've got it on about 95% difficulty. It's only a five lap race, just a short one. To check out the VR. I know what you guys are seeing recorded it's never going to give you as much of a, uh, a kind of real view that I'm seeing, the kind of 3D depth of field and the kind of immersion that I'm seeing. But I thought you guys would enjoy this video anyway. So let's dive in and uh, see how we do. Okay, so the lights are going green. Here we go. And we are... We are away. Here we go. So there's 20 or so of the cars on track. I'm going to lift this headpiece up so I can hear myself. And as I said, I've got the aggression on really high. Uh, so it's a bit more realistic to British touring car. A little bit more door to door. Can we squeeze through this gap? No. Nope. I'm gonna, not going to push it too hard past those two BMWs there. Now I have got... Um, since you last saw Assetto Corsa, I'm actually running... Um, the Soul Shader Pack now and the lighting upgrade. So everything looks a little bit nicer with these modifications in the standard game, especially in VR. Now this headset isn't actually mine. Um, this is actually a friend of mine. He's lent me this. This is the original Oculus Rift. He's lent me this to just see what I think of VR before I dive in. But I must admit, I've done about 10 hours of VR now and I absolutely love it. I don't get any sickness from it. Uh, I don't get too much eye strain. I'm wearing my glasses underneath this. Uh, the low resolution, especially these older headsets, can give you a little bit of eye strain after a while. But at the moment, um, everything feels fine. So I think if I do invest in VR myself, I'll be getting the Reverb G2, which is the latest and greatest VR headset on the market. It offers two 4K screens, so a 4K screen per eye. So the resolution much higher than this older headset here, which is what you're looking through uh, on screen now. Um, but I just thought I'd borrow it, you know, get a feel for it. My main concern was that I might get motion sick. And if I do that, then it wasn't going to be for me. But for me, it's actually, it's been absolutely fine. People have said if you do get motion sickness from VR, you can get over it. It's kind of like getting your sea legs, if you like. You know, you can get over that kind of seasickness if you're on a boat long enough. It's the same with VR. You can kind of fight through it. But for me, it's not really been a problem at all. Um, I've taken to it pretty well what i will say is your racing uh takes a hit um you're definitely slower at first it, it's not 100 percent transferable your skill from going from playing on a 2d screen to to in vr you are definitely slower at first as we just hit the back of our teammate a little bit there um yeah you are definitely a little bit slower at first it takes time to kind of build up that ability again uh in in kind of a vr environment but i must admit that is the least of my worries I am just having so much fun. It is so immersive. Um, I just absolutely love, you know, I've been playing a lot of Formula One. In fact, I was going to do this first video with Formula One, but I thought it'd be a bit more fun, a bit more haphazard, and, and fit a bit more of a free-for-all if we did some British touring car. And, of course, we have done BTCC on this track before, but on Project Cars. So I thought it'd be funny to do it again, but this time with the Assetto Corsa mod for British touring car. Of course, these are... The modern touring cars, not the old ones you've seen in previous videos. These are the, well, these are actually technically the 2018 touring cars as we get through the chicane there. The curbs on this track are, uh, they really vibrate the uh, the steering wheel. Again, this track as well is a, is a download or a mod. Alton Park isn't actually uh, in the base game. Just making use of all my mirrors here to make sure I don't get swiped out. Let's see if we can catch up to these cars in front. Not even sure what 15th place we're in. 15th, apparently, according to that. The bottom of that can be wrong. It's a little bit slow sometimes to update. 
Okay, we've got a, a BMW in front of us here. Let's see if we can... Oh, we've run a little bit wide there, but... So these cars are one of the modified ones or a mod. So the detail in here isn't as much as you would see on some of the standard cars in the game, but it's still really good. The level of immersion and detail is absolutely great. Okay, come on. So yeah, I built this PC. Um, it's been absolutely nightmare trying to get hold of the parts, as a lot of you guys who play on PC will know. I managed to get hold of a 3070 Founders Edition from Scan by being on part of a Discord chat that had a, has bots that basically send you alert messages whenever anything comes in stock that you're looking for on any website in Europe. So I got the 3070 for a good price from Scan. And I actually, to get the Ryzen 5 uh, 5600X CPU, I had to buy it from AW, AWDIT as part of a bundle. It's a bit cheeky. They know how much demand there is for them. So I think they're just trying to get rid of old stock a lot of places. So they're making you buy processors as a bundle. So I, I bought just the cheapest motherboard I can. I got some £50 ATX motherboard, which I don't even need. Um, but even with that £50, I paid less than some retailers are asking for this processor. Uh, it's very, very popular, especially with lockdown and what's going on. People are obviously in demand for PCs, but it's such a powerful processor for the relative price. Um, this PC is amazing. Um, I've been playing ACC in ultra settings with 35 cars on track, and I've not dipped below 80 frames. Whilst my old PC had to be in pretty much medium settings with 20 cars on track, and I would sometimes dip to, to as low as like 30 frames. Uh, I've been playing ACC in VR, which a lot of people say is really not that well optimized compared to something like this, which is true. But even with those new components, you know, I've been able to play that in, in ultra settings in VR and not had any sense of low resolution, or uh, sorry, low frame rate, which of course, for VR, for it to feel na uh, natural and smooth, you need minimum 90 FPS. Um, and ACC has felt completely fine. I will be doing videos of that very soon as well. But I thought today we'd do this. It's a bit more light-hearted, a bit more, bit more chaotic. And see how well we can do. There's only, uh, only two laps left as we try and just take as many places as we can. The sun looks awesome with the Soul Shader mod. Um, I've got this set to realistic time of day. Um, it's one of the mods you can do that it knows obviously where in the world you are or where the track is. So it knows that it's about 2 o'clock in the afternoon in the winter, in the UK, so the sun is low in the sky. As we're back behind another another Audi here. Got a whole bunch of cars ahead of me. Let's see if on this last lap or so we can make some moves past this guy. We're through. Still checking my mirrors. We have a Alfa Romeo ahead of us. Two Alfa Romeos. I was going to try and break up the inside of him there, but let's not try that. On the last or second to last lap and make... A hash of everything. He's still next to us. Oh, he's trying to force us out. As I said, we've got the aggression 100%. So the AI is very boisterous, as they would be in in, uh, in touring cars. You know, in real touring cars, if you ever watch it, they are not shy of a little bit of contact. As we get a bit of door to door there, but I am, I am through. He is behind us. Let's see if we can catch up with these guys before the end of the race. Try not to overcook that corner too much. Having access to all the mirrors around me and, you know, being able to look around the car completely, it is it is so immersive. The sense of speed as well. In the Formula 1 cars, I was in the uh, 1991 uh, Williams. You know, such a small cockpit, so low to the ground. I will definitely be doing a video of that for you guys soon. It feels so, so fast. Okay, let's see if we can make some moves on this guy. We uh, try and catch him along this straight. The longer you're in the VR as well, the more and more immersive it becomes. I mean, the only break from reality here is obviously I haven't got a shifter. So as I'm changing gears with the paddles, he is moving his hand onto that shifter on my right. But when you're playing the Formula 1 and they're changing gear with the shifters and his hands are staying exactly where your hands are in reality, when you're in it for a long time, I was in it for a few hours last night, your mind really starts to accept what it's seeing, in, what, you're, what your eyes are seeing in front of you is reality. The longer you're in there, it becomes really, really immersive. Uh, and especially when it's like that, and there's no breaks from, you know, what your hands are doing in real life. Um, it's really, really, uh, it's just so much fun. If you haven't had a chance to try VR or you've been thinking about trying VR, I would highly recommend it. 
It is such good fun. Okay, so we're coming up to the finish now. Just a quick short five lap race for you guys. Just to just have a little catch up, show you the new setup. If you would like to see me more VR videos, please, please tell me down in the comment section below. I know it can be a little bit jarring sometimes. Some people aren't a fan of them because obviously what you're seeing on screen is a bit jumpy because it's literally, you're seeing my head movements, if you like. But um, if you would like to see more of these, and if you would like to see a video about the build of my computer in more details, I have got all that. But tell me down in the comments below as we cross the line. There we go, 10th place overall. Happy with that. We made up quite a few places there. 10 places, in fact. So, yeah. That was really good. And I mean, now we're back in here, we can take a second to just look around. As you can see, that there's not too much detail in, in here being a being a modded car. You've got the roll cage, you've got the uh, the kind of, I don't know what that is down there actually, that little tank. Um, you know, you've got all the, the bits and pieces. It is, you know, really, really, really cool. I'm a big fan, so I am gonna be doing more videos like this in the near future. So if you would like to see that, as I said, tell me down in the comments below. And if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to leave a like, and I will see you guys in the next one.